Hi guys, welcome to a hate math group. In this question, they ask me to evaluate when x is equals to negative 1. Now, you can see here you have an absolute value, so be very careful. The first thing I'm going to do is to plug the negative 1 everywhere where I have an x. So I have 2 times negative 1 squared plus 3 times negative 1. So let's go ahead and take care of what is inside the absolute value. Negative 1 times negative 1 is going to be 1. 2 times 1 is going to be just 2. Now, positive 3 times negative 1 is going to be actually negative 3. So I have the absolute value of 2 minus 3 minus 5. Well, let's do this. 2 minus 3 is actually negative 1. But remember, the absolute value of negative 1 is 1. However, be very careful because look, right here you have a negative. This negative does not affect this negative. So I cannot do negative times negative. Actually, the absolute value of negative 1 is just 1. But this negative is actually outside. So it doesn't get affected. And this is a really tricky question. Negative 1 minus 5, and the answer is negative 6. So that's it. Make sure that anytime you have absolute value, remember you cannot distribute the negative. You have to take care of the absolute value, and then you get your sign. And that's it. Thank you so much for doing such an amazing job. And also, thanks so much for learning.